Hello everyone, I just wanted to take this time to give you a quick tour of the Alex system. Uh, when you first log into Alex, you will be required to go through a tutorial to see how to enter the answers into the computer, into the system. You will also be asked to complete a diagnostics test. Now, that particular test is uh, kind of like a pretest. It assesses and finds out what you know and what you need to learn. Uh, and that populates this here pie chart. Now, the topics that you already have mastered and that you show, uh, sh show that you mastered in the diagnostic test will be included in your pie already as being mastered, so you won't have to practice on those topics. Uh, otherwise, the topics that you need practice on uh, will be the topics that you will go through each week and complete and practice and master. Now the dark color shows me how much I've mastered, how many topics I've mastered in that particular week. If I just scroll over to that particular part of the pie, say week one, I can see that I need to work on rounding decimals. But first of all, I see that I've already mastered 26 out of the 55 topics for week one. So I need to scroll over. I need to work on rounding decimals. I need to master that topic first. So I will glow, uh, click on rounding decimals and practice. It says round 0 0.332 to the nearest hundred. So the, the second three digits in the hundreds place, the two tells me to leave it the same. So 0 0.33. Then I will click next. Now if I need help, I click explain or help. Good. Practice again. If I answer another one without help one more time, I will add this problem to your pie, meaning that I will that topic will consider to be mastered. Now if I miss the next problem, then I will have to practice on a few more to show that I have learned and mastered this particular topic. So let's practice another one. 27.86 27 to the nearest whole number. So you see whole number, that's a clickable link. I can click on that if I needed to or explain. Uh, 27.86.8 tells me to round that up to 28. Click next. All right, very good. You seem to have learned this question to practice again. Click on more practice so I can continue to practice if I don't feel comfortable. But if I feel comfortable, click done and that topic has been added to my pie as completed so now you see I have 27 out of 55 topics completed and again if I scroll over that the next one down will be least common multiple of two numbers I will click on that one practice practice until it tells me that it's been uh, that topic has been added to my pie and I will go through uh, that particular pattern that, that pattern through all of my topics for week one now it's important to note that you must master all the topics in week one to have access to all the topics in week two, three, four, and so on. Uh, so it's a kind of like a, it's a cumulative thing. You must master each topic each week to have access to other topics. Now after I ma uh, master all of the topics in week one, then I would want to click on assignments. And the assignment, the week one assignment is here, and this is uh, similar to a quiz, so you won't have the extra explain and uh, extra tutorials to help you while you are completing that assignment. Okay, uh, and then we have here the ebook that we will use. Okay, all right, now in our ebook, this is where you can find uh, just the regular textbook. Uh, and you also, in this regular textbook, you have helpful hints, all of the general information that you will have in any textbook. Now, as you're scrolling down, you see here, here's a video for the number line. If you don't, don't understand the number line and what's going on, you can click on this video to get a quick overview of the number line. You also have a media uh, area. So, and it's also important to note that you have a highlighter that you can use. And you can print your pages as well. Now, the media area, this is what you'll use for your quizzes that are uh, on the main classroom page. Uh, so you would want to, I would suggest that you print the list of videos and slideshows that you need to review, print that list off, then come here to the e-textbook, click on media, click on see all, and then you can find those videos and slideshows that you uh, will need to review. I will also suggest to you that you 
copy down the examples be sure to write down the title of the slideshow or the video uh, whatever the title is make sure you write down the title uh, copy down the examples as you work along with them in those slideshows and videos and that should prove to be useful to you when you complete those quizzes in the main classroom area okay so that is a quick overview of Alex uh, I hope that was helpful to you. Please be sure to let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.